Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true daughter welcome to Tiny Kane, which is Pikmin, and we're not going to beat around the bush on this one, because it is a third-person platformer with light RTS elements where you're followed around by a group of tiny cute creatures, and the setting is a world where everything is big because you are tiny. So yes, it's Pikmin, and that's good, because Nintendo aren't interested in doing anything with Pikmin, they just turned it into a bloody mobile game with microtransactions in it. So I'm glad someone's making a proper one, so glad in fact this isn't the full game, that's not out till Sunday. Summer. This is the demo, but oh, I've been waiting for this one, so we're jumping straight in. So, welcome to Pikmin 101. Basically, yes, as I say, the world is big, you are tiny, meaning you're going to be needing some help. And the help comes from these adorable little cuddle bugs right here, tiny kin. So, grab them and toss them at useful bits and pieces. Now, things aren't entirely the same, I'm being mean. There have been a handful of changes. Say, they've streamlined acquiring new tiny kin. Because you used to have to tell the tiny kin to grab something and take it back to base and it would form seeds and would grow into new Pikmin, etc. But no, just go up to tiny kin cocoons and congrats, you've got more bloody tiny kin. So, on this occasion, yes, this is just a tiny little training area to introduce you to the basics. Because ultimately, each tiny kin does a different thing. Right now, we've only got the uh, basic purples uh, and their thing is uh, they're very strong, they're good at carrying. But to move the big thing that's in the way, I'm going to be needing 30. So, okay, going to uh, nip around over here, grab a handful more. Other than that, controls are super simple. You've got a jump and a hover, and broadly, that's about it. Because honestly, in this game, you are incredibly lazy. It's the tiny kid that are going to be doing the work. Navigation's also been streamlined a bit too, which is, yes, you could very easily leave Pikmin behind back in Pikmin. But in this game, they just sort of follow you. They can just magically cross gaps. It's a somewhat streamlined experience to make it uh, faster paced than Pikmin was, perhaps. So, last handful gathered up. Toss the tiny kin at the thing. And as soon as they're in place, they will shuffle it out the way, opening the way forward to important items, etc, etc, etc. So, on this occasion... Hidden under the stairs, we have got ourselves a, a magic pair of goggles. Now, not 100% sure why we need a magic pair of goggles, but okay, we've got a magic pair of goggles, let's not question it. Oh, we're going full on Pikmin here. We're gathering components to build a ship. Maybe not a spaceship, but still a ship to let us leave the massive house we apparently live in. So, five parts, meaning five rooms, and in the demo, we get to go to room number one, the living room. A big, beautiful, living room adventure playground. Oh, this is... This is just what I wanted, yes. Welcome to Sanctar, a land consecrated by the melody of Arduin's Canticle, but only the shield bugs can hear his voice. Strange, isn't it? This mystery resists all attempts to solve it. Any help you can offer will be appreciated. Okay, help out the bugs. Gotcha. It seems the shield bugs want to broadcast Arduin's canticle to make it accessible to everybody, but how? Well, I'm guessing it's going to be... Alright, you are a CD, because for some reason this isn't just a small house, it's also a small, very 90s house, which is delightful. So, okay, we need to get the CD to somewhere that can play it. There's also... There's a big cardboard playhouse here, magnificent. But, yes indeed, your little tiny kin are restricted to each area. So you've got to uh, pick up more when you actually go into uh, new areas. So grab you, buddies, and uh, need ten. Okay, we're going to be needing some more, except you, buddy. You're not the same, are you? No, you're different. Red's tiny kin love to blow things up. So, okay, just aim and uh, the right one moves into your hands and... Sorry, are you... Are you a bomb? Got five right now. Okay, that... That kills them. This is... I was about to say this is darker than Pikmin, but only just. The yellow Pikmin were also bomb-collecting Pikmin. Though, they didn't, like, intentionally kill themselves. They often did, because bombs were fiddly to use in Pikmin. But, like, not intentionally. It wasn't actually a suicide bombing. Alright, toss the last one there, and that gets me access to... A little drum, and also there is... Aha! So apparently there's like 
740 of them dotted about somewhere. So, okay, just collect loads of that. It's going to be like, I don't know, notes in Banjo-Kazooie. Sorry, my brain can only deal with platformers right now. So up we go. Up we go. Clamber up. And we've got ourselves on two. This is the sofa, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, this is... This is delightful. So, all right, just hop on to here. And then just grab all of this. Up we go. And that is... Okay. That's explodable right there. And that gets me some of the uh, lovely, lovely stuff. And color-coded red. Aha, you're made of matches. So, toss you. And that is... Okay, now that's a shortcut. So the shortcuts are all over the place. Gotcha. And then four explodey lads that will get me a cone down. That helps me move further and further up. Don't know why I'm moving up, to be honest. Just kind of feels like the right sort of a thing to do. In a game like this, just go up. So, okay, purple ones are not destroyed by tossing them or them carrying stuff. That gets me another shortcut. And... That's trap little purples. So I'm trading reds for purples right now. And that's probably for the better. Because that's 10. That was the number I needed for the CD down bottom. So alright. Just go, go, go. That's probably another shortcut right there. And it is. Be flipping beautiful. Just keep on going up in the world. And oh this feels really nice by the way. And oh. That's a little shortcut, isn't it? That's a little shortcut I can use my soapboard on. So, okay. Just go, 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 and more flipping go. And now, there we go. I'm the other side of the room. Well, there's plenty more stuff. But, okay, don't rush over there. All right, we're not bloody done with what we've got, chat. Well, I'm liking how this does give you a view of the entire room, though. That's pretty good. So, just get off here and grab myself some more stuff. And uh, there's also... As it's highlighted in purple, a thing. Okay, why don't you guys just grab that, because why not? And uh, for things you can't get to, there's nothing to stop you. If I could just get the angle right, tossing a little tiny can to get it instead. There we go, that's the right angle. Boom. Ah, but hang on. I'm missing something here. Just a drop down, zoop in, and if we just blow you up, there's even more purples. And... Uh, a little thing I can open up here. Just hit the book and there we go. A drawer full of stuff. This feels important. All right. They want music to play. So I've got to make the music play. Not sure they can hear it already if like, you know, the CD's not in the CD player. But tossed in and... Okay. They know where they want to go. Problem is, aha, I need to open the path. So, right now, they're just going to stay here and do that. Now, can I recall them if I want to? Because so I've got a recall thing. No, that only works for ones that aren't currently busy. So, okay, this is now my priority. I've got 20 explodey lads, so I should be able to knock down the front door to this building right here, which hopefully nobody minds. I appreciate the help. Oh, this is a holy building. Oh, I should not be tossing around explosives, though. Okay, this is also... Aha! Okay, I'm helping make it holier by blowing up all the things. Okay, I probably shouldn't be wasting these little guys like this. But I feel like there's got to be enough to clear out this entire temple. So, we're going to make it all nice and lit up. And also steal all their holy treasures. And I'm glad I came around the back of the stairs... There's more of the pinks. Don't dirty the walls of the temple, you scoundrel. But my lord, that's not my intention. Quite the contrary. I'm a dung beetle, you... Oh, that's sad. Leave him be. Didn't mean to cause trouble. Also, what's happened to my, um, my friends? Oh, they're up here. Okay, so they're now trying to get... They want to go in this direction. Aha. I see the old hi-fi speakers, so... All right. We're going to need to find you a way forward, though... Seriously, I am... Uh, I'm low on reds right now. Does anyone have any, like, you know, more... There's more reds up there. Okay, hang about. Just need to find uh, the way forward and... The soundtrack now has them singing to the music because I'm inside the church. 
by the people who are, oh, now this game. This game flipping gets it. Though we've also got a purple thing, so, all right. I've got enough for that. Okay. There's a stick. And when you put your purples on it, they... They know where they want to go. They just need you to help get there. So, okay. They're smarter than me because I don't know where they're taking this right now. Over in this direction. Because, aha! The statues aren't identical. You're going to make them match. I'm not sure why the frog statue needs to have, like... Yeah, a uh, thing, but... Ooh. That produces a thing. And I've got myself... My first lump of cheese, possibly. Yes, I've collected 235 blobs of gold, one out of eight blobs of cheese, and one out of three things. Excluding, of course, I need to gather, aha, repair the CD player. So I need three things to do that. The CD's not going to be enough. We also need a tuning fork and possibly the, the play button. Okay, we need to get the play button, gotcha. All right, back to the church. Hop up in this direction. There's... Okay, I'm almost out of explosion lands at this point. I should really not be... Oh. There it is. Every candle gets me another block of cheese. Across the chandeliers. Get all that. Grab a few more explosion lads and... Cheese number two. Boom, I love the cheese and... Oh, is that bubbles? Because uh, my things are... Yes, that's how I get more double and or triple jump or whatever, I'm guessing. Right, get out the back. This is the only exit from uh, this entire area. And I'm pretty sure I just saw around uh, this side. Uh, there's going to be a way up. Assuming I've got enough reds for this, which is uh, one, two, three, four. I do. So around to here. Up to here and... Uh, Okay, I'm now up on the roof. I need to get over to there, so... Okay, that looks like that might work, but I'm going to be needing to gather all the collectibles while I'm passing by, obviously. Can I float that distance? Hopefully, yes, and boom, yes, I can. So, okay. I see we got this right here. How many to sort that out? Ooh, four. I'm going to need to come back here with uh, more explodey lads. Because right now I do not have... Uh, then again, uh, hang on. If I could get up to the top. There's like three or four right there. So, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four. That leaves me with one. Three up there. I just need to get up there. Right, loop out and then zoom back in again and now start clambering upwards. Uh, and I'm back by the sofa where I... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I almost missed you guys. Uh, there you go. That's actually all I need. One, two, three, four. Kaboom. That should get me the drawbridge down. Meaning my little friends should momentarily... There we go. They start moving. Maybe activate the bubble. And I've got myself... Thing number one in play together with uh, right now nine, but ten are about to be restored to me. So the CD is now in place. So while we're passing by, just drop down here. Never say no to some nice bits and pieces. And oh, it reminds me a bit of Banjo Kazooie, you know, the camera work I mean, where it's 3D, but occasionally in certain tight spots. It activates a, uh, yeah, a restricted camera system in order to make sure you can see the room you're in properly. Hang about. No mail today, buddy. Oh, I've got mail for you. So there is, aha. If I find letters, bring them here. But you now need, yes, more mail to operate. I'm guessing get all four bits of mail. That might be a new piece of... John, there's one right there. Okay, you guys really couldn't have done that. By yourselves. That piece of mayo was uh, right there. Two more. There's probably a piece of cheese in it for me. But also I need to get myself a whole bunch more reds. Okay. Maybe gather them later. Because uh, there's now a lot of stuff 
that might need a blowing up elsewhere. So, okay, just get over to... Aha! Speak of the devil. There is... Well, you seem to want my attention for some reason. I've seen it. What have you seen? And at the bottom of the big closet, a monster gigantic covered with hair. There is a cat tree in this room and a cat door on the right. Ah, they want to see what's inside and the only way to prove it to them is to take a photo. The problem we've got here is that... Oh, blimey. 25. Okay, we're going to have to come back for you later. Not least as uh, you're also going to need to eight reds uh, to blow the gate. Okay. Now, I can't help but notice. Under the sofa, over here, where things are very, very uh, dusty, we've got ourselves uh, stuff. Including more bloody cheese. Right, gather up the little red lads. Uh, can't get through there. Okay, there must be other entrances to under the sofa from different angles. Because I can't get to... Think about around to here. Round to here. Is this the right side? Yes, this is one of the right sides. So, oh, blimey, that's eight. But it is cheese, which appears to be an elite special thing. So I'm willing to trade eight of them for cheese. Boom. Okay, we're getting there now. We're getting there. This is good. We're making progress. Aha! The gold stuff is pollen. And apparently, he can brew stuff with it. Okay, over on the piano, I'm seeing somebody who really wants my attention. So, alright. We're going to go over there next. Because I'm guessing I can bounce to the drum. That gets me to this little stool right here tons of pollen then just climb up and there we go what do you need buddy have you seen my daughter melody i came to pick her up because she didn't shut for dinner she's usually around here keeping this old piano in tune she should have been home by now i'm starting to get nervous so okay there's a restaurant not far away the felix all right, go over there on the cat tree. Maybe they saw something there. May as well just uh, have a looksy roundy while I'm passing by, though. I'm swimming in explodey lads uh, for the time being. That gets me... Aha! That gets me a path in that direction. So, okay, just going to gather up all the stuff before we go over there. Up top the piano, there is 100% something going on inside. In fact, that might be you right there. Okay, we got eyes on a her. While I'm up here, because I mean I'll be coming back here. Just to free the purples. We need more purples. And uh, you, buddy, going to give me... Oh, now that's a good shortcut. That is a shortcut right over to the Felix. So, okay, we'll get to that in just a second. Just need to, uh, yeah, finish off with this shelf at first. So just knock you down, buddy. And... Uh, oh, there we go. That gets me a few more explodey lads right up top. And hang about. I saw you, buddy. I saw you. Though we also need to just shove you in here and grab the letter. I think that's it at the top of this room. So, okay, hang on. While we're up here, this is actually a useful little vantage point. Oh, I just love this aesthetic of a giant room. You are tiny. So we've done the sofa, though there might be a tiny bit more to do over there, potentially. We've done the temple. We've done most of that area by the actual uh, hi-fi. So, okay. There's the chair, the plant. These shelves over here. And then finally, this side of the room. You know what? While I'm here, I'm going to drop down. Just use this to make sure we're safe. And uh, if we can, just... I'm about to die, but it's fine. The games are very generous with that. Just jump and then blobbity blob. So, yes, I can use this. Take a little shortcut towards uh, the chair. Because I want to see what's going on with the chair over in this direction. I could also get up to... Oh, go on. We'll do the show first. Oh, this game. This game is uh, highly addictive uh, to the likes of me. All right. I just want to explore the big room as a tiny person. Okay. Here's interesting. This statue has got, yes indeed, a missing bit. It needs a nose. Aha! Speak of the devil. Right up on the top shelf. That there is a nose. So, okay. 
We've got the nose just to get the pollen up from the very top of the room. So this gives me a very good view of, uh, yeah, the shelving unit for the TV, some shelves up top, and uh, a really big, nice cat tree. The sort of which we got for Tabby once upon a time, but she had uh, no interest in it whatsoever. She just did not know what it was for. Right, drop down and try and make sure we get the... There we go. Right, insert nose into statue and kaboom, one block of cheese for me. Right, let's just take out this corner of the room first. So just zoom over to here and I can use the drums to get a shortcut up top. The person who lives here apparently very musical. Pianos, drums, accordions everywhere. And here we go. Up on the armrest, we've got ourselves a switch, which presumably it's a recliner. Therefore, that's going to open up, giving us access to a brand new cavern. Okay, I love this game. I'm just calling it Game of the Year right now to save time later. So... All right, we got ourselves a whole bunch of good stuff, and uh, I'm guessing what's about to happen is uh, that's the tuning fork. But you're not going to be able to progress until I've opened the path, so uh, you guys should be able to do the rest by yourself, right? Because the path is already open. Ah, but while I've been doing that, I've gathered enough pollen for this guy. It's double cheese! Oh, we are getting somewhere now. So, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Now we just need to go up and... Game of the bloody year. Ah, but what we do have is... Hang about. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's... Oh! That's not a table. That is one of the piano keys, which I'm guessing we need to gain access to the piano, okay. Oh, I can also nip into the radiator back here. So I help myself to all the radiator bits and pieces while I'm passing by. And meanwhile, on the piano, I'm guessing side door opens. Boom, we can go and rescue Melody. So just straight in here, and we are now inside the piano. Though we're going to be needing to blow some stuff up potentially. If we could end up with a profit of uh, these guys, that'd be great. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're not doing bad on the old pollen count either. Right, red lads, we need to start saving these guys up. Maybe no more reds uh, just to gain... Oh, hang on, there's... There's a ton of red lads. So I'm guessing we might need to do more exploding inside the piano yet. Have ourselves to all of this. Nearly a thousand. And plenty more pollen yet to collect. So... All right, eyes open. Just make sure we get all the bloody pollen. Here we go. Four will release you. Congratulations. And that doesn't get me cheese. It gets me a weird golden coin. Okay, artifacts. So there are three rare things hidden somewhere in the level. Right, now don't forget, go up top and actually have uh, all of this stuff on the way past because uh, there's a load of gold uh, at the top of the cat tree we've not even touched yet. Oh, but I tell you what, up top here on the actual cat tree on a little shrine, that's the play button now, okay. Presumably, only one of you needs to do that and okay, that one needs to be hand delivered, so... No rush on that. Help myself to explodey lads and uh, do not use the explodey lads uh, on that. Okay, this is... Aha! This is the drinks cabinet. So yeah, we should be passing over the top of the TV right now. This will be the TV right here. Oh yeah, this is what the cheese is for. If I want to hop over to the top of the lamp and then to that where there is clearly something... I need two blobs of jump juice. And I think I found someone who's letting me know why I'd want to do that. There's a screwdriver up top, which would let me get in the side of the TV. Okay, so round to the front of the TV for now. Plenty of stuff just uh, floating around. These guys just doing some nice meditating in front of the old television. Lovely. And there is also the... There's another bar around here. 
a bar that's apparently got a stand-up comedian. So, okay. Here we go. One of my jokes for tonight. How many boats do you need to fill an apartment? Alright. Karen doesn't know. Tenants. Ten ants. Ten out of ten. Game of the year. Aha! Round the back of the area, we've also got ourselves... Uh, okay. I've now got two envelopes and a play button. That was just a little backstage area hidden inside uh, the bookcase. So... Uh, okay. I think we might want to return to the rear area at this point. So just nip down. Though, hang on, there's... There's also something else that needs moving. I'm guessing that's going to help people get up in the world. Ah, now here's interesting. Did you hear? Oh, so there's a monster in there. Right, this is how you get to the monster. Just, okay, well we need to break that open. Yes. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact I might be going into our, our boss arena right now. Oh, it's just a teddy bear. Hopefully. Okay, this is this is fine, as it turns out. It's not a problem at all. It's just a big old teddy bear inside this area full of... Oh, there's explosive lads too. Though, yeah, we definitely need to open this up from the inside. So, okay. Until we did that, the camera wouldn't have been able to get here anyway. So, that's now opened up that nonsense and... The camera's coming from over there, isn't it? Okay, so huge, huge numbers of reds needed to get this camera on the move. Though there are more reds up top in here in the... It's a dollhouse made of cardboard. Okay, just tossing these two. Any chance I can have an extra bit of a double cheese? Yes, yes, double cheese. That gets me two. Double bubble. I could do it. I could get the screwdriver. We're probably pretty safe at this point to get the photo. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That opens up that. The camera can now get where it needs to go. I have got plenty of purples for the time being. So you guys just get over there and sort that out. So the camera is now on the move. Speaking of which, back here, is there like another entrance to... The rear by any chance, I thought there might be. Saw a little tiny bit of light right there. So the camera's just doing its own thing right now. And hello! Are you supposed to be in here? Okay, he just enjoyed saying boo. I'll be having it all of that. That gets me some bonus reds. I love it. Right, skirt out and use my board to catch up with the camera, which is currently just doing its own business. Over there, it can get in straight away, and we can just take the photo, boom, then we just carry the photo back to, yes, the frame, presumably. There we go, there's the photo, proving that there is no monster. So, here we go, time to prove to these people they were in fact wrong, and it was just a cuddly toy. And that gets me medallion number two. But this one looks a lot more damaged than the first. Alright guys, this is the big one right here. Toss in that play button and... Uh, that should be... Everything. The song... Was the song that was playing in the background... The entire time. And now everybody's having a nice dance. And this is the best game ever made. Okay, so I can now help myself to the banner and complete the demo anytime I want to. Because the demo is just this first room. But no, 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 no. We're not done yet. And with my new double bubble, I did not need the double bubble. But it still gets me, yes, onto the lower of uh, the candles. So, all right, just get over to uh, here. And I'm guessing this is going to be the final shortcut to this central location. So that's going to be even more right there. So just on to here. Have we got enough yet? We're still a fair bit short, actually. Okay, but I don't know how many more explosive guys I'm going to be needing at this point. So just toss them in. I've got 16. You might need literally every bit of pollen 
in the entire room to make this work. But there is, yeah, loads of pollen right over here. So, all right, now we just burn our uh, red land. So, sort that out, sort that out, sort that out. Pollen times a million. We're about, yeah, 50 or 60 shy right now. Okay, we just open the television and hope there might be a tiny, tiny amount more pollen inside or around the television. So, just get up to... There's some more. There's one I never exploded right there. I'm now just keeping an eye out for all the stuff I didn't explode earlier. 1,286. Just like 50, 60 more. We're almost, almost there. Okay, but with double bubble, I should already be able to make it to this area. And uh, from there on to the next. So go. And there we go. Magnificent. And I'm guessing... You guys just need to be, yep, that can just get that over to there. No trouble at all. Okay, drop down and just bubble my way to safety. Screwdriver goes in there. Boom. That's going to get me access to the TV. And come on, lots of pollen. Lots of pollen. I'm not seeing much pollen. There's some pollen. And yes, the guy outside wanted a gemstone that had fallen in here. So, okay, it's down bottom. But if you want it, you need to help me turn on the picture box. So, all right, just get up here. We need to sort out this nonsense. So, just hover straight on over. Keep on keeping on. This appears to be needing to be moved and... Okay, that was nice and simple. It's just static, though, which is... Oh, it was on a VHS tape, I see. Right, so we got that sorted out. Then we just need to hop up to here. Nice and careful. We're going to pass... No, we're going to pass 13 bloody hundred here. There's a bit more, too. Right, grab thing. Now restore thing to... This guy, who wants a thing for some reason. And here we go, a collector's item. I don't know what it is, but it's important. That is all the artifacts in this level taken care of. I did it! I found it! I had to go around the room twice, but it was the little block I ignored before the room that didn't have a monster. I have found all 1,347 blobs of pollen. And that doesn't even get me any cheese. Because I assume you can only turn those in once per area. And there's no second area. So that was entirely pointless. But I'm glad I did it anyway, damn it. All pollen, all cheese, all collectibles, all main objectives, all submissions. Alright, we're done. We're completely 100% done. That means we can get my little purple lads to carry the banner off. Magnificence. Back in the little uh, level select area, there's a guy up here who could talk me through the collectibles. Because they're apparently a bit special. Something to do with figuring out what happened to this house. Why it's abandoned and who was the guy who owned it. So Arduin owned two of these. Yes, we've seen this one. And the other one, the first was almost destroyed in a fit of rage. This one was carefully looked after. Speaking of which, Broken Honor. A plaque given to Arduin as a reward for something unknown by someone unknown. Originally a sublime object made of precious engraved metal, it seemed to have been a long-time source of pride for Arduin. However, history has it that one day, taken with anger, he struck it so hard, it suffered great damage. The event was so unexpected, we still talk about it today. So there might be a tragic backstory to the guy whose house this is, which explains why he's not here anymore. And I'm guessing we could learn more in more rooms as we gather more bits and pieces, but not today. For Ridmi will not speak to me anymore, the remaining levels are locked until the game is available, but this nails it. Alright, this is... Uh, this is beautiful. Many times when you play a game where someone just says, Hey, I like this game. I'm going to make my own version of it. You can tell that they just don't have the spark, the magic, the understanding that the original creator had. And that's not true here. I feel like the people behind this, they get it. They get what made Pikmin a classic and they've made something wonderful and cute and delightful. And I just 100%ed a demo. 
I hunted down all 1,347 little blobs of pollen because I didn't want to stop playing this game. So when the full version comes out, it's coming back. We're seeing this again. This is wonderful. If the rest of this is as good as the first bit, this could be on my games of the year list for 2022. So hopefully you're looking forward to a little bit more of this. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Tiny Ken. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh, oh shit. When did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.